Good day, folks. You're welcome to day five of 90 Days with Jesus. And today we're talking about God's school. Funny. I know the first thought that comes to your mind is experience in school, but this is a different one. It's fun. Challenging, but it's fun. Having God as your teacher, the ancient of days as your teacher, is very, very fun. And you're going to enjoy it. So today I keep verses from Proverbs 15, verse 33, Message Bible. It says, fear of God is a school in skilled living. First, you learn humility. Then you experience glory. It says, first, you learn what? Humility. Then after that, you experience glory. It's awesome when you submit to the ancient of days and it teaches you. Because at the end of the day, you are sure glory awaits you. In today's devotional, what we're talking about, our focusing is on humility. But first, there's absolutely nothing new in the world. Do you actually think that the challenges you're going through, the business you're trying to set up, the plan you've laid out, you're the first person to do it in the world of about six billion people right now, and many more already, I believe? No, somebody else has already done it. Someone else is going through that challenge right now. Somebody else put that same plan on paper. And you know what? The ancient of those knows, every, knows everything. So the point I'm trying to let you know, there's nothing new you're going through. Be it a challenge, be it a business idea, or whatever you're going through, is nothing new. If you can just focus on God, put your trust on God, he will see you through it all. So there's nothing new. Know that. And that's the first thing you need to, uh, to learn. Secondly, for today's devotional, for you to get to your destination, you need to follow someone who knows the way. You need to follow someone who knows the way. Like they say, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is a king. For you to achieve those stuff you want to achieve, you need to follow someone. It saves you time. It saves you investment of your money. It shows you the shortcut. It helps you to avoid the disappointment. So you need to follow someone. So my question to you today, who are you following? Who are you submitting to? Who are you serving? Because when you do that, they will show you the kings. They will show you all the loops. So, and one of my favorite quotes I want to share with you today is this. Say, if I've seen any father, is by standing on the shoulders of giants. Whose shoulder are you standing on? For a great man to offer you that platform, for somebody who achieved great things to, achieve, to offer you that platform, you must have served them. And for you to serve, it takes humility. In serving, is not a, a moment thing, it's time. You've invested time in them. You invested yourself in it. So my question, who are you serving? Who are you serving? In the challenge you're going through, who are you going to? To seek for help. Or you are there, you think you are man enough that you can solve it all. You're not so strong. You can break. You just need to submit yourself. Then thirdly, you need to humble yourself. Humility is key. The Bible says this, God what? It brings the proud and lifts the humble. The Bible talks of men who were served. Elijah served Elisha. Joshua served Moses. Many more. Jesus had to teach the disciples, the 12 disciples. They are great men in their fields, but they had to serve Jesus. Ooh, looking at it, from their own experience, they hadn't achieved anything. But yet, they sought something in him. They placed aside, they dropped aside their own experiences, their own achievements, and they served Jesus. And today, their names are written in history to have done great things. God will lead you to great people. They might come in small package in terms of their age, in terms of some of the things they've achieved. But if God is leading you to somebody and say, this is the man you need to serve, my brother, my sister, serve. Humble yourself. Because it's part of what God is taking you through in God's school. You need to serve. So lastly, I've touched around this already. Identify someone. Identify someone. You need to identify someone. 
in that in that if I saw and starts in praying. He started following somebody they might be on Instagram, on Facebook, on study, follow someone. When you follow them, we do able to know, okay, this is who God is leading me to. And that you follow through. So in running up into this devotional, we talked about you, that there's nothing new. And also that you need to follow someone and you need to be humble. So we're going to conclude the prayers. So join me in praying. Our prayer is we're going to ask God to help you identify someone that will help you grow in Him. You know the areas that you lack, you seek for growth, is it spiritual, financial management in your career? We're going to pray that God will lead you. So join me in this. Father, I pray for every one of us here today joining me online in this devotional. Father, open up our eyes that we're able to identify those you are leading us to. Mentors, giants that we're able to follow and we're able to stand in their shoulders. Father, we thank you because we know you are leading us. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I believe today's devotion has blessed you. Now to step out today, I pray God will help you and God will strengthen you in Jesus' name. I'll have a great day.